We will discuss here, ferromagnetic materials. Before going to actual topic, let us discuss about the electron configuration of iron atom. For that, let us draw the electron's configuration of iron atom. Here, we can see there are four electrons in 3D orbital remain unpaired. Also, we can see these four electrons spin in same direction. Each spinning electron has a magnetic effect since it is rotation of electric charge. But, when the electrons are paired, one electron of the pair spins in opposite direction of other. As a result, there is no resultant magnetic effect. But when the electrons are unpaired, the electronic magnetism become prominent. Such electrons are referred to as magnetization electrons. In iron, there are four such unpaired electrons spin in same direction. As a result, each ion atom gets a resultant magnetism. Therefore, each ion atom behaves as a magnetic dipole. Numbers of such magnetic dipole atoms align themselves in same direction in the microscopic region. These regions are called domain. As a result, a domain itself has magnetic dipolar behavior. Now question is, how are so many atomic dipoles are aligned together in same direction in a domain, although magnetization electrons of each atom of same domain spin in same direction? This is because, other electrons with spins in the opposite direction mainly in the fourth atomic shell interact at close range with the magnetization electrons and this interaction is attractive because of the attractive effect of their opposite spins these S-shell electrons influence the magnetization electrons of the ion atoms and align them in same direction. These domains are randomly oriented in a piece of iron so there will be no net magnetization in the iron. The iron piece can be considered as magnetically neutral. Now, let us examine what will happen if a magnetic field is applied a piece of iron. The magnetic domains align themselves in the direction of applied magnetic field. The piece of iron becomes magnetized. When the external magnetic field is removed,
the iron piece remains magnetized up to some extent. This behavior of iron is called ferromagnetism. Iron and some other materials exhibit this property are called ferromagnetic materials. Cobalt and nickel are others two popular ferromagnetic materials. Hope you got a clear idea. Thank you.